I was kind of having fun in my last couple of videos, maybe except in this one. And of course, because of that, the views started to drop. So today we're gonna cry, my friends, cause my Patreon wants me to do a world conquest as I am in Kaiser Reich, not even Kaiser Redux. And that's gonna be absolutely fucking awful. The guy wants me to do it with the fascist path, at least that. And I think that's this one. The Samus Focus 3 looks very bad in Kaiser Reich though, so I don't have high hopes. We start with 11 factories, 16 million core population, which is pretty good, but not enough for a world conquest, and we don't even core the entirety of the country. I really doubt I will be able to core much else, and if I remember correctly, you cannot steal manpower from your puppets in this mod, or annex them, or do anything with them at all, so that's gonna be painful. Perfect! This video should do 10 billion views then, let's begin. I don't want to delay the pain any longer. What? Why do we have two factories on support equipment? What the hell? Let's start producing some artillery, I guess. Oh, the infrastructure in this country is awful, man. Can't even build in the highest infrastructure zone, cause everything fucking sucks. I guess something like this will do for the beginning. We may also go into a civil war. I don't know, it's the first time I'm playing Siam. So everything here is gonna be as big as a surprise for me as for anybody else. And in good Kaiser-like fashion, we cannot do any meaningful focus. So let's start with some army experience, I guess. I don't want to be rude, but I challenge you guys to find a more beta look looking leader in all of Kaiser Reich. Bet you cannot one up this guy. Oh, well, I'm still recovering after all this psychological trauma. So please guys, if you want to make that a little bit faster, click that subscribe button. I still want to hit 50k until the end of this year and that will help a lot. Also, I have a Patreon in the description of this video and I need some dollar bills to wipe my tears with. So please, if you got some to spare, consider joining the Patreon. Thanks. And back to this monstrosity of a video. Hey, look at this. I can actually integrate the territory I don't core. I need to do three reforms in each state though. And that's so incredibly lame. I can't believe this. I can't believe Kaiser Reich makes me be actually nice with people. I want to force people to be part of my nation. That's so lame. Oh yeah, that makes me remember. I don't think the local police is gonna make people like me that much. So let's go down to civilian oversight to build compliance while we are not at war. Oh, China just blew up. Interesting. Just as the Black Monday hits. Perfect timing. Oh my fucking god, this is gonna time out in 10 years. We need to start working on that. Cause I am planning to at least conquer Vietnam by that date. Why the hell is this so harsh though? I don't know the lore of Siam, but are we that integrated into the German economy? I mean, yeah, we have the German East Asia puppet right here, and I guess we are trading the most with those guys. But it still feels kind of strange to have minus 80% construction speed, so I don't know. This focus is pretty cool, and I would like to have the army experience, but I think we need to actually work... wait... This is only available after the 1st of September. That's in 6 months from now. Man, we got really gutted. Okay, then I will get my stupid army experience. And I think I already fucked it up. Cause on the guide it says that during the black month do not choose any of the option listed above. And I just purchased a lot of rice earlier so this is the first restart. Getting off to a good start, probably gonna jump off the window if this happens again. Don't worry I live on the first floor, I am at least gonna survive. So. Here we need to get one of those two. I chose this one the last time so I did this correctly. This is where I fucked it up because I purchased a lot of rice and I need to do the exact opposite. In the emergency tax event we need to increase the income tax rate. And I think this is the last one and I'm not allowed to pick this one. Holy smokes, minus 25% research for two years? Oh my god, this is gonna be awful. Let's pick the second choice, I guess. Alright, and now I think we need to wait for a coup. 
There we go, didn't have to wait long for this one. Seems like some people were actually very eager to take over the government. We got this focus bypassed now. And now we need to wait for something that's called yellow cover dossier. There it is, another important event. And we need to arrest the syndicalist sympathizers. And I think the middle option will also work, but I'm not gonna risk it. Next up it's the dilemma. And we need to try to end this factional bickering. Now, my favorite part of the game, we need to wait two months. This is one of the last events that we need to worry about, thankfully. And we of course need to take power for ourselves. There we go. Mr. Plaek Fibun Song Hram. Totally butchered that. Not gonna try to say it ever again. But this is the guy the Patreon wanted us to play as. And yeah, this is his path. Okay. Now, there is only just one more thing. We need to keep this guy alive, because he just made a lot of enemies. So, first up, we need to implement the Ratanium reforms. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh, it's right here, okay. Gonna finish this focus and then start working towards that. But there we have it, we are fascists now, good. Actually got it second try, not too shabby. Also, I I'm playing Iron Man. Do I still need to say this every single video? No safe scamming on this channel. Finally, some good goddamn news. Okay, I wasn't expecting this to happen. We captured a Burmese agitator and we can just declare war on them. So I'm totally gonna do that. They only got 7 divisions and I have 14 and those are pretty good odds. If you ask me. I mean, who the, who the fuck else can you even ask? You are alone in your room. Wait, what? Are there m more people? Man, I don't know what to say about that. I think you watched too much Hearts of Iron 4. Take a break or something. Oh, shit. I need to take all those provinces in 30 days. Or else I'm gonna get worse support debuffs. That's not pretty cool, but I think I can get the capital really fast. Also, the Burmese just got more divisions, so I might have fucked up here. They even naval invaded me, I guess. Or is this something else? I don't know. Can I train more divisions? Yeah, I can. Let's do that. Wait, what? They added a division limit in Kaiser Redux? Is this new or am I just tripping? Actually, I haven't played Kaiser Reich in a while, so I don't know. Encircled three divisions here, got their capital. Only if I could stop this fucking horse from living and sit in the capital. I need to take this victory point, this victory point and this victory point, I think. Yep, and that will probably capitulate them. Also killed this division here. So it's actually looking pretty good. And I won. Please take a minute to notice the luxurious amount of loot we got. 26 entire guns. No matter the Burmese were so ass at fighting, I'm gonna annex everything, of course. Big I am. Great, now I have to get this on all this shit. 19 million people. I need 50 more political power to resume my fucking research. And then I'm gonna try to incorporate those territories with my political power. No, wait, actually. Do I get a guy? Oh. Oh yeah, we do get the guy. We're gonna get the guy. Got the decree going. And I of course need to implement them. And I think I need to wait again. Perfect. So let's work towards this other research slot. Oh, this is curious. I can change the nation's name to Thailand. I guess the guy that wanted me to do this was Thai. So maybe this will make him happy, I guess. Let's do it. The Kingdom of Thailand. We got the new flag, I guess. Was this the same before? I don't remember. My memory is so short, man. That's what I get for having 5,000 hours in Hearts of Iron. We get a proposal to get a new anthem. And for some reason, if we pass on this one, our leader will not get assassinated. Who the fuck will get that mad for a fucking song? That they will actually kill somebody. And this, finally, the last event we need to worry about this campaign. It's so beautiful. The National Language and Compulsory Education Act. We need to just let the people use the Bangkokian dialect. As simple as that. Now, this guy should live. And we're all set. Now, are we gonna get new focuses or is this it? And I just cannot do anything else other than this. That would suck so fucking much, man. At least from what I've seen, Thailand is pretty good to do a wall conquest with. Because we got this guy with minus 15% justification time. And there is also this other guy with 10%. And this guy with 25 And we even get the guy with non-corp manpower. So it shouldn't be that hard. Oh no. 
Is this for real? I already got this event once. Does this just keep going in Kaiser Reich? Nah, this cannot be. Man, I hate this. Okay, just because of this, that's it. World conquests in Kaiser Reich are prohibited. No more. Let me click this one just one more time in case I'm tripping. Uh, okay. It doesn't appear anymore, but I'm 100% sure I clicked it away once. And what the fuck is this? An independent Kachin. What the fuck? Why would I do that? Okay, I'm not getting those events anymore, but I lost a lot of stability from this. Around 7.5% just from one single country, and that's not cool. Oh yeah, and the political power hit. So that's awful. Also, I'm not getting any more focus tree. This is <laughs> all the focus tree. My entire political tree was only four focuses. What the fuck is this shit? Well... I guess that the industrial tree is pretty cool, so let's keep doing it. I don't know if I'm understanding this right, but if I do, the integration process of those states is so slow. I did the first two reforms in all the states, and now I can only do the third one, the civil service expansion. And I already did it once here and here, and I think I need to do it four times. Once for education, once for sanitation, law enforcement and telegraph and so on. And only after that I think I'm getting the core if I'm not wrong. But I probably am, so please don't listen to me. The industry is picking up pretty good though, I have 35 factories and I'm still not done with developing the country. God, I only wish I had some actual political path to follow. I don't think those two will ever become available because I need to be led by another guy than this one. So yeah. This was probably it. I'm also glad that the focus tree is working properly. I have 37 factories and I need over 50 to get this research slot, but for some reason I'm able to do it. So I'm not complaining. And yeah, I was kinda right. I only need to do this three times, not four, to cut it. And damn, the decisions take a lot of time. I think I need to wait one year and a half for all of them to be done. So that's a lot for 2 million population and one civilian factory. The second Vilkrik just started. It's a bit lame to be honest. But look at this cool Iran. Isn't it beautiful? China is also fighting itself and me, I am just chilling. Up to 43 factories. It took me so long to get prepared that the Empire of Japan actually invaded Vietnam. And they are now actually justifying against me too. So I guess I will fight them first. Okay, so something weird happened. The Japanese didn't declare war on me yet. They don't even have a war goal on me. But India just did. The Dominion of India. And that means all of the fucking Antant. Well, at least they are getting clapped by Germany, I guess. Are they fighting them? Oh, no, they are not. Okay. Well, I guess this seals the deal then. The Indians don't have any troops on my border though, so that's kind of weird. But our army should be pretty strong by this moment so i don't think we should worry that much man the indians are very strong i didn't manage to push them one single inch i tried to pull an encirclement in the north but i actually got five of my troops encircled i lost way more than 70k man i don't know what the fuck this is all about and i'm fighting all those majors killed 750k people from the dominion of india 194 from the dominion of canada zero british and 196 french so i'm basically just fighting against against the Indians here and I'm losing. I am actually gonna start training some mountaineers. Maybe they will be of some use. I got no planes, I did build a lot of AA and down 2.5k planes, but that's not actually enough, apparently. The second Vilkrieg almost ended. The Germans killed France and now they are killing the Russians. Their faction is huge, of course. The Entente retreat took the UK and France and Japan also took all the islands. So I'm not having a really nice time right now. Got up to 100 factories though, which is cool, but it's not enough. Oh yeah, and it's almost 1945. It's been several hours. It's 1948 and frankly, nothing fucking changed. I've seen a golden opportunity in this naval invasion and caught one of my ports to kill enemies in. Unfortunately, I am losing this whole entire state and chance actually made it that I 100% need it to do my entire navy branch. So because of that, I finished my quote-unquote focus tree a very long while ago. I've been killing divisions here for the better part of 3 hours, as well as this kind of naval invasions. 
and also encircled quite a bit of divisions in Burma. Not those ones though, because I tried to pull this encirclement literally for 3 hours and I cannot. It's impossible for me to push this. Also, how the fuck do they have this good of a supply when their supply hubs are here? If I was playing India, this would be the supply hub, this tile will be full supply and this one it will be minus 2000% supply. Anyway, other than the rant, those are the casualties. I lost 250k men, just to basic bickering, and the enemy lost 6.5 million solely from me. They've been at war with some other guys for a while, but that ended, and they lost more million men that way too. So the UK has 1 million manpower, France has 6, Canada half a million, Australia half a million, and India 12. So I will be here for a long, long while. Also for some reason, El fucking Salvador is a major power. Just because having to invade North America wasn't enough. I need to make a small detour to Central America as well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this for God knows how many more hours. See you when something big happens or when I think of a very bad joke. Or maybe both. Or maybe neither, to be honest. Oh my fucking god, I can't believe this. I misclicked. Well, this port wasn't really productive anyway. Maybe because it was Australian. I won't want to send my own troops to Australia either. So yeah, let's hope they're gonna get it back soon. Oh no, it's even worse now. The port is New Zealandish, and the divisions are invisible again. There is a tonk here. Which cannot be seen with the naked eye, apparently. So, this kind of ruins that. Oh my fucking god, look at that AA damage. 30 goddamn planes, 50 planes. This is insane. 8 entire K aircraft has been lost in the past month and that's absolutely nothing for them. India has 10k, France 10, the UK 5, Canada 3, and Australia 3. It's gonna take a long while until they run out. I started producing my own planes, I got 800 of those, I'm gonna exercise them to level 3, and those are my designs. Oh wait, this one is made by the game, I will have to change that when I get the XP. But this is my self-designed fighter, pretty shit isn't it? Also I'm not producing any trucks and I've only seen that now, let's fix that real quick. I also gave this port away a couple times times and now I can see the divisions and the best part about it is that now it's controlled by the UK so hopefully more divisions are gonna come here now also I think I'm gonna start moving the port in this other tile so I can still have access to this state because I want to continue the navy tree I say this in pretty much every world conquest I do but man I feel so trapped here it's 1953 I've been killing divisions here for hours on hours killed literally hundreds of naval invasions just like this one or bigger and the number of enemy divisions just keeps going up 20 million people are dead and nothing changed i am not even one single step closer to finishing this this is pain also the kunming government is taking over china and they look totally fucking frightening and they will most likely be my next enemy oh yeah the usa invaded japan so they are now a puppet and france actually took over the Antant. at least argentina is having a great game unlike other people this is the literal first time in this campaign i managed to get air superiority enough to drop a bomb here i got 76 nukes and i couldn't drop a single one my hand was itching in anticipation but it's finally time I can drop the nukes. I will have no mercy as the Antant already dropped like 5 or 10 nukes on me already. Half of them on Bangkok. So my beautiful Bangkok is ruined now. And I will never forgive. The enemy lost so many fucking planes. This is just the last year. I've been killing planes for 10 years now. And the number is only getting up. France has 25k now. It cannot be stopped. Casualties are up to 23 million. 0.4. Let's see how much we get after the nukes are dropped. Only 300k people. That's pathetic, actually. Can I drop some more? No. That was it for my superiority. One single second. Oh, uh, those two airports weren't completely destroyed before I dropped the nukes. So I think something bugged here and I destroyed my own airports. This one was fully operational and this one only had like two levels damaged. So I think that's actually the case. Anyway, I'm gonna try to actually encircle some troops here. I really want to get this port because 
because I have a feeling that the Antant will much rather want to send a lot of troops to one of their ports. Oh no, wait. This is not in Indian core territory. What the fuck? Yeah, no, that's part of Burma. Do they core it? Yeah, they actually do. What the fuck? Do they core all of Burma? It doesn't seem like it. I don't know. Well, well, well. It seems like our leader just fucking died. He kicked the bucket just as I was having a little bit of success and pushing through India. And now we can choose between those two motherfuckers. And we get a shitload of different buffs. And out of those two, the first guy seems to be the best because it gives us 2% non-core manpower. And this other guy is kinda lame, so let's choose this one. There it is. The Antant forces have finally started to dwindle. Only 250 or so in all the majors and 400 in the entire faction. I think I killed thousands, literally thousands of them. 30 million casualties, 743k for me. Keep in mind that I'm getting 500 weekly manpower from this spirit and I'm still only on limited conscription, so manpower wise we are pretty cool. Other than that, nothing really happened in the world in some time. The Republic of China formed though, which is absolutely absolutely terrible for me. They didn't yet court Manchuria or Mongolia or Xinjiang, so at least they are not at full capacity yet. Vietnam and Laos are Chinese puppets, but Malaya is not, so I'm gonna attack them after I'm done with India, probably. This should finally be it for India in 1955 after a bajillion years of combat and almost 14 million people lost. If you guys remember, they started with 14 million manpower and now they have only 2 million. Well, I did take around 130 million of their population over, so that's obviously not all of it, but it's pretty close. There are basically no troops here anymore and they are at 45%. We are finally gonna take over India, but there is no chance for me to reach even France, not even talking about Canada, or even worse, El Salvador. They are on all adult serve with only 14k manpower. That's so ridiculous. 99% for India. I'm only one single victory point away and I think that will be Karachi. Just hit zero war support. I don't know why, if you add up all those numbers, you don't get anywhere near there, but okay. I am facing a huge problem though, which is the division limit. This absolutely sucks, because now I have way more coast to defend, which means I will be able to use even less of my forces, actually conquer stuff. So that sucks a lot. Maybe I will be able to get a pistol with Antant after capping India, but I actually doubt this is a feature in normal Kaiser, right? And that's why Kaiser Redux is objectively the better mod. Man, what the fuck? Every time I drop a nuke, an airport controlled by me gets to zero strength. I just dropped two nukes here and now this airport is no more. And there are no enemy planes here, so I, I don't know. Also, for some reason, my troops left this port open, so now I have to deal with this major invasion. And they just cut out my railways. So that's amazing. Let's try to go around that. And I think I'm finally gonna close this port. Cause I'm only gonna keep this one from now on. Ah, yes. The invisible divisions strike again. And my divisions leaving the port. There are actually divisions here. I don't know how many. Oh my god, this is so cool. I can actually keep Malaysia and not get any debuff. Can I actually caught it? Nope. The decisions I had for my territories at the start isn't available now, but at least I have claims on this. So that means compliance is gonna rise even faster. But I of course have to do the fate of Singapore, separately. I hate that so much. Anyway, my war goal on Bhutan is ready, so let's declare war on it. Gonna get Nepal next. And I didn't pay attention and my port was taken again. Fuck! Only now, 13 hours in, it kind of started to dawn upon me. The absolute sheer absurdity of this playthrough. Just take a look at this. I've been fighting a war for 15 years with a pretty small number of countries actually. Oh yeah, Mexico just joined. Forgot to say that. Anyway. And so far I've killed 50 fucking million people. Let's say maybe 2 million from nukes. And let's be ultra conservative and say that I killed half of this number from pushing, which is probably tens of times too much. So let's just say that I killed divisions equal to 25 million manpower. And now let's take this division of mine as the default size. 
it has 12.4k manpower in it so let's say 12k so that's 25 million divided by 12,000 that's that's 2083 fucking divisions and that's probably the minimum number that I killed and those guys actually started to go up in, in divisions again they have around 400 I got them down to 200 for a while but literally everybody is on scrapping the barrel I think this is it for France they only have 150k and I think that's fucking it. The UK has 5 entire million. Canada is also out. So is Mexico. And so is Australia and New Zealand. And probably everybody else. India still has 1 entire fucking million. Just from Sri Lanka and the goddamn Maldives. So this is just pure insanity. Just look at how many collaboration governments I had time to do. And yeah, if you don't know, you can only do one single collaboration government in both Kaiserreich and Kaiserredux. It's already 1963. And this is mostly the upper limit of how much a world conquest should take. I usually finish them by the late 50s, but I am only 6% of the way there. I, I hate my life. Oh, it seems like the Chinese also got their nukes. They are actually having a lot of fun with that. Maybe a little bit more than I do. This is pretty good so far. 2 million casualties on the enemy. 300k for myself. And the Chinese are actually attacking me. So it's looking good. I don't know where the fuck all my railway guns go. Because I had around 20 on every single army. Well, I have 75 to spare. But still, they just drop like flies. And I don't know if they are getting overrun. If they are just getting captured somehow. Or destroyed, bombed. I don't know. All I know is that my... My nuke number is going down very fast and I don't like that. Progress is really really slow everywhere guys. I did nuke the Chinese a couple more times, 6 million are dead now, up to 58 for the Antant, to call of Vietnam, I didn't call anything anyway yet. The situation here is just ridiculous. Look what I have to do. I have this supply hub that only covers this one little tile. Everything else is red and I don't even have that many divisions here. Also can I please get rid of those divisions already? They are very very annoying. Okay, no, I guess I cannot push those. I will just let them chill here for a little bit then. No worries. They are harmless anyway. Okay, so apparently this happened. My port garrisons apparently just left the enemy alone, capturing the port. And they are set on rigid cohesion this time, so I don't fucking know. Also, they, they left this port open next to those eight British divisions. I, I really don't understand. I'm just gonna encircle troops here in the mountains and ignore the problem in the south. I think that's the best choice for my mental health nah man they really trying to make me quit look at this shit only 27 percent i cannot take this anymore nah guys th this is this is too much those chinese divisions have perfect supply here and their closest supply hub is right here like an entire tibet over here it's just not fair. The AI is cheating. Well, I just captured this Chinese port and the number of Chinese divisions is getting down really quick. They are only at 137. They lost 10 million men. So I guess they will be done pretty soon. Look, Antant, it is possible to run out of divisions. Why don't you guys do the same? They have around 400 divisions. I don't know where the fuck Canada is getting all the manpower. They got the most divisions out of the faction and they still have some manpower. I don't understand. This is too much for my brain. I think it's actually hilarious how I get tanks for the first time in 25 videos and I use them to push through the goddamn mountains. I actually just realized that I'm doing this. Um, This game made me go balls to the walls insane apparently. I cannot be saved anymore. I thinned the Chinese army enough. They only have around 60 divisions now so I press the magic buttons so we can have the chance to lose our entire stability when defeating them a piss deal i haven't seen one of those in ages i'm just gonna take everything of course that's the point of the video i somehow forgot and now we are pretty big actually 16 percent of the way there in only 18 hours we're moving pretty slow also all my railway guns are somehow just evaporating and i have no idea why to be completely honest they are probably getting bombed but yeah it is what it is also i just got access to two decisions so i will be able to core cambodia and laos that's amazing it is in fact way too little but at least i am getting some more cores holy shit i have 40 million core population now in the same goddamn state i started with 
Almost. That is so fucked up, man. Okay, now the thing is, almost everything else that is around me is either in a faction or a American puppet. So I will actually have to go to war with the Danubian Federation or however the fuck this is called. So we need to start a big infrastructure project to get enough supply for goddamn Siberia. And that should be quite a challenge. But hey, at least now I got a lot of divisions to train. So let's do just that. Should I just do tanks? Ah, uh, no, let's train some basic divisions too. Oh, damn. I don't know how the fuck, but they apparently have the strongest navy in the game. Just kill 100 enemy ships in a mining mission. And there goes another one for only three of my destroyers. I'm gonna kill the entire enemy navy in like two months like this. I am so goddamn pissed right now. I just realized that there is a fucking cap on the maximum amount of division you can have and that's 300 i would have been able to have 500 if it wasn't for this this is so fucking lame also are there rules only for me because germany has quite a lot more divisions than 300 and they have 9 million manpower what the fuck they almost have the same numbers as i do but i have 1.8 billion people oh yeah my core population is up to 46 and that's because of the population growth because i'm only coding those states and this isn't too much. I actually think there is a bug here. I think I should be able to core the Malayan land. Because I got the same event as with Laos and the rest of Cambodia. To integrate them into my lands. But the decisions were just never available. Anyway, I'm still fighting the allied fleets. I started losing a lot of ships myself. I don't know why really. I lost about 300 ships. But I did kill quite a bit more from the enemy. So it's good. I also took over Sri Lanka and encircled this port. But super Supply is not getting here, not at all. But now it's finally time to declare war against the Danubian Confederation or whatever the fuck this is. Only have to take over those guys and Siberia. My war goal is ready, so let's go. I think after I'm done cleaning up those guys, I'm just gonna declare war on the Reich's Pact. I could actually go through the Ottoman Empire and take care of Austria, but if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get a big stability hit. So I would rather just occupy the territory and kill both Germany and Austria at the same time and just get the big hit. I think it's the better choice in the long run. I'm just gonna kill Siberia and I think I'm gonna encircle a port in Iran. Cause those guys also have a lot of divisions. And I don't know if I just want to push them all. It's not that fun to do it through all the mountains of Iran, you know. So taking over those guys was really uneventful. It was pretty easy. Only had to make Iran uninhabitable for the next 200 years due to nuclear fallout but other than that all is good i also employed a tactic of plane go brr so the enemy navies are pretty much no more i do hits like this on a daily basis i'm just so good and for some reason my garrisons just get dumber and dumber by the day pretty much every time the italians land they take a port because for some reason all the ports are empty if this division is here when the naval invasion comes and the italians land here for example this division will go here to attack the Italians from here and leave the port empty and they just take it all the time. So I actually need to keep this army here to kill the naval invasions. Also, those guys are on rigid cohesion, so I don't fucking know. I should just go with the regular fallback lines, but I got 66 ports, so that's gonna be a bitch to set up everywhere. So I would rather just risk the entire game than do all of that. Anyway, it's time to go to work with the Reich's Pact. I don't have many fronts with them, and they are all covered, so let's start justifying on the Central Asian Federation. Oh, damn. I am actually getting pushed by Russian tanks here. Is is this gonna result in a lot of my divisions getting overrun here? I... I have fucking hope not because that's gonna be a disaster well guys it seems like the russian enthusiasm only lasted a couple of seconds and i understand this perfectly because it happens to me every single morning i get like three or four solid seconds of hope and then i just go back to rotting in bed managed to actually capitulate the central asian federation and the reich's pact has suffered almost 12 million casualties didn't got a chance to get a port from them so this is entirely encirclements and nuclear bombs. 
I did run out of nukes though, but I managed to build 20 more nuclear reactors though. Germany has 9 million manpower left and they still didn't go up to scrapping the barrel. I don't know what the fuck Austria is doing, because they're only on extensive conscription and they run out of manpower. Their faction only got 6 million casualties. And fun fact, the Entente is up to 700 divisions again from 200. Where the fuck are they getting manpower from? They've been on scrapping the barrel for 20 years, I don't understand this. So I'm just gonna ignore it from now on. Oh, and yeah, those tanks are pretty good on the deserts of Central Asia though, but pretty much nowhere else. Until now I managed to have the skies to basically just myself, but as I push further into Russia, they get more and more range for their airports. So I'm starting to get contested a little bit. Those 4000 planes are not gonna be enough anymore. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of hours. Just nuke in circle, nuke in circle. I actually don't know what to make of this, but the Ottoman Empire has been at war with Armenia for the past 20 years, and the Armenians actually pushed two entire tiles and nothing changed. Oh no, the Armenians lost two and a half million people. There is a very bad and problematic joke to make here, but I'm not gonna do it. Just forget I even said anything. You know what guys, even if I don't know how to design tanks, I mean, this template absolutely sucks probably, and the chassis shouldn't be as good either. I don't know, you guys tell me. Tanks seem to be pretty solid, but my question is, would there be any difference at all if I was only using infantry and nuking the provinces I want to conquer? And I actually thought a lot about this question, and I don't think there is actually a difference. The only thing that I can think about that the tanks have over the infantry is purely the speed. They are just a couple kilometers kilometers faster than infantry. So that's pretty much about it. Will I do more tanks in the future? I don't know. Maybe. If I play until the 90s again, probably. But yeah, overall not that impressed. Finally, the Russians grew up there again. This is the first attack the Reichspack is doing in like two years. Their casualties are up to 21 million, but that literally means nothing for this entire faction. Germany is only down to 8 million. I'm starting to think that resistance is futile and I will never actually be able to finish this campaign. It's 1979. 25 hours in and only 20% of the way there. I haven't even started conquering the USA. And we all know what a pain that shit will be. I actually started to justify on the few neutral nations that remain. So I won't have to remember that when I'm almost done. And yeah, I, I would love to do a time lapse here of me getting all those cool encirclements. But Every single time I did it, I got my video copyrighted for the music I used. Literally got copyright on some copyright free music I found posted on YouTube. So I don't know what the fuck else I could do. If anybody is wondering, the getting my airport obliterated when I drop a nuke thing still fucking happens. Look at this. The exact moment I drop a nuke, one of my airports go to shit. I don't know if this is a bug or somehow this is how it was intended, but I'm too stupid to figure that out. So let me know in the comments. Hey, look, th this is one of those high level, huge skill hearts of iron encirclements, isn't it? There's like over 100 divisions here. Ah, who the fuck am I kidding? I'm just trying to distract myself from the time ticking towards my doom. Every single second I spend on this campaign is one less second I can spend with my family. My kids, my two beautiful boys, John and John. Yeah, I named them the same thing. I don't think I will ever see them again. They will probably be out of college by the time I finish this. Nah, I, I, I don't have any kids. I don't know why I said that. I'm probably just going insane by this point. I'm hallucinating. Fascinating. Imagining a better life than this one. Encirclement has been closed. Reich's packed casualties are up to 32 million, which is coincidentally the exact number of neurons I lost during the filming of this video. And it's not gonna stop here, because there is a long, long way to go. And I'm doing all this shit for 50 goddamn bucks. Worst thing about this is this video is probably gonna flop massively, because nobody gives a shit about Siam in Hearts of Iron 4. So, you know, I I got a Patreon in the description of this video that can help offset that a little bit, just saying. I think I finally just reduced the army of the Reichs packed enough. They lost a total of 42 million people and a couple thousand divisions. 
Mind you, only from encirclements, because I didn't got a port for them ever. So I'm gonna drop a couple hundred nuclear bombs now on the front line. And I think I'm actually gonna risk and try to press those buttons. So let's go. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. I think I got the upper hand here. So I'm gonna let this one go on for a while. And I'm gonna be back with you guys. What the fuck? Since when did I have this turned on again? It's horrible. I always click it by mistake and I don't know how. Anyway, Russia is only at 15%, so they have a while until they capitulate. Oh, and one more thing. Look at this shit. I did collaboration governments on a lot of countries. And I mean a fucking lot. Look at this. I probably have around 30 or something like that. Did I do one on Japan. Yes, I actually did. I also got Indonesia and Australia. Let's do one on the Philippines. Why not? I think I'm gonna end up getting collaboration governments on like Nicaragua and shit like that. The mountainous republic is no more. Thanks God. What was I to do if they were to live one more day? This whole world conquest was about to be ruined. Georgia is no more. Russia is no more. Ukraine was basically just an illusion all along. Belarus, no more. Holy shit, my hand hurts from clicking 500 times. Anyway, Lithuania just died. And so did Romania. Pretty glad I was able to do it myself. I am actually a little bit sad about Bulgaria, to be honest. They went through a lot. Can't say the same about Poland, though. I'm glad they're gone. They were in Austria's faction, and that's just disgusting. Crimea is holding strong though. I cannot set foot here because the strait is blocked by the enemy fleet, which is not in the Black Sea apparently. They are blocking it somewhere from the German coast, I guess. And there we go, minus 12 billion stability probably. I got to minus 100 just from the first 6 or 7 decisions. Cause nations like Russia, Germany and France got me minus 20%. Oh my fucking god, those are the best words I heard all day, the British collapse, finally. There is only Scotland left and Northern Ireland of course, but I still have to capitulate all those countries. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I really have to conquer El Salvador? And what the fuck, the German government in exile, how do I defeat this? Oh my fucking god, don't tell me that I have to kill this motherfucker twice. He fled to Africa, I can't believe this shit. This is so lame. Oh my fucking god, I had all the French colonies. <laughs> I should have garrisoned them, but I just gave them up for nothing. Now I will have to push through the land. Oh my fucking god, please take me out of this. I know I'm so goddamn close, but I cannot. I can't actually get enough political power to justify, because all this shit is still going on. <laughs> Ah, I also don't know how the fuck the German government in exile works. I've looked around and they have a very weird course. They got one here, one somewhere in the middle of Namibia. Oh, those two states are cord. And this one right here, literally in three opposite corners. So if I have to conquer all of goddamn Africa for that, I'm gonna throw punches. Also, I landed in Canada, but got 13 of my divisions killed here. I managed to build a port, but I can't do much else, so I'm gonna wait for this other naval invasion to be ready. And yeah, th this kind of is a problem here, which I don't know how to address. Oh no. No. The German government collapsed. No. I have to justify on all of those countries. I... Words. I have no more. <laughs> this is actually horrible. Ah, fuck my life. Well, at least there is only Canada and El Salvador to deal with. And yes, I am actually going to invade El Salvador. I don't trust that the game is only playing with me. I think the game is actually dead serious. Well, this is the East Coast. And now it's all the fucking way to Vancouver. Canada must be one of the worst nations to invade, especially if you don't control the US first. They are only at 71% with a collaboration government. But at least it's over. Canada cannot hurt me anymore. Never. I will never let Canada hurt me again. It's finally over. The war with the Antant, that is. This war was started by India in like 44 or something like that, if you guys remember. Because I don't. That was like two months ago for me. And it took me until 1986. And now I actually have to wait. For me to just regain my PP, because I needed to justify now. And yeah, that's gonna take a while. Probably a couple years, actually. 
the luck of the Irish is about to run out because I'm gonna declare one on them. But they are apparently protected by the USA. So they will have to go to. Where the fuck are all my planes? Oh yeah, the central Mexico region is very important to our war with the USA. Better have green air there. Thank you AI. Making my life better every single day. Anyway, it shouldn't be that hard to kill the USA. They've been doing nothing for the past, what? 35 years? Wait, did they call in Japan? Oh, yep, they actually did. I don't have enough divisions for that many fronts, so I had to pull some of my garrisons to place on those borders just in case. And now I'm so goddamn glad I did it, cause I would've fucking lost in 1987. Just please tell me Japan is not a major. Japan is not a major, perfect. I can't believe I actually have to get a win this entire campaign. Yep, just as I thought. Those Yankees were not too big of a hustle. 5 million of them perished. Somehow... Oh, wait. They lost 3.4 million to Puerto Rico? <laughs> when the fuck did that happen? Um, guys? I don't really like how the situation here is evolving. I got naval invaded here. The Americans actually killed a lot of my divisions. I lost like 40 of them. And those guys are pushing here. The Americans are only at 68%. I, I'm, I'm scared, actually. I absolutely cannot lose now. Because I'm actually gonna... You know? You guys know? I just don't have enough divisions. Because of the division limit. I hate this shit. And somehow I ran out of tanks. I missed 25k. Holy shit, I think I have like 300 factories. Placed on building only tanks and it's not enough. Okay, then let me train some mountaineers. Maybe those will help. I even got green air almost everywhere. How can I lose this? Ooh, that scared me a lot. I only had to employ the MacArthur strategy. Because th that was the only way. Killing the Americans with American stupidity. God fucking damn it. J j just imagine losing this after 13 hours played. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't, would, wouldn't that have been funny? Funny like in, like in me jumping off the window funny. <laughs> I didn't come this close to having a panic attack all my life. I really don't want this to happen again. Oh my god, guys. The cleanup is going so goddamn slow. I think I am 30% of the way there. I got most of Africa to go. All of South America, but at least they are in a big nice faction for me to conquer. Got all of the Caribbean and Europe. Oh no, wait, I forgot about Finland. God damn it. So yeah, it's 19 fucking 90. The Soviet Union is supposed to break up in one year. And I'm 31 hours in. From now on, just call me grandpa. Because I got old here. So, I am 80% of the way there, I think. I'm gonna declare war on Uganda right now. Got two more justification here on East Africa and Madagascar. Then two more, one on the Cairo Pact and one on South America. And then two more, one on the Ottomans and one on Armenia, which are still at war, by the way. And I'm done. It's only gonna take one more hour, I think. And those are the two factions down. Now it is only left to those two lovebirds. They are actually moving. The Ottomans are winning after only 60 years. But I will have to interfere here. In 10 days, my work is gonna be finished. And it kind of feels like barging in on a family argument. It's kind of awkward, but it has to be done. And finally, somehow, ironically and a little bit poetic, the last country I have to get rid of is the Ottoman Empire. So let's go. It's, it's beautiful. I can't believe this is actually done. I can go out of the basement now. I can see my family again. There it is. The world conquest is complete. Yes. I can finally go do something else. Oh no. I forgot about the Finns. God fucking damn it. I will never forget the Finns for existing now. Now it should be done. I can be late to rest after this one. There. There it is. 100%. It's 1993. We actually got 10 whole years before my birthday. I absolutely hated this. You know what, from now on, Kaiserreich is a banned mod. I don't want to do a world conquest in Kaiserreich ever again. Cause this, this sucked me dry. And not the good kind, the bad kind. 
I got 40 million manpower. This region of the world actually grew to 60 million people. And the non-core population bugged out because I have way more than 1.3 billion. Let's be serious. That's just China, basically. And you know what? Add insult to injury. Let's change the name back to Siam. There we go. The Kingdom of Siam once again. Oh yeah, those are the statistics, guys. I played for 32 hours. This is the longest world conquest so far. Don't worry, I plan to top this with a lot somewhere in the next months. Just keep an eye on the channel. And yeah, all those numbers are so fucking big. Look at this shit. This is just a lot. I can't believe I played this long. My fucking god. It was very painful, but I hope you guys had fun. And thank you for watching this far. And of course, as always, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me every single month. Flossy, Tomilia1, CJ Devante, Thunder, Grongwex, Windows Mistake Edition, Gibbs Licor, Jack M, Erika Mannerheim, Neil Class, I'm a Disappointment, Ishgo, Mr. Reader Reads, Griffin Dame, Argenis 3JIO, Luminex, Senses, Oud O. Mueller, Vladitronics, Cyan, Colcraft, Journalman29, Alan No SOS, Pascal Aello, Bara, I'm Just There to Suffer, and Galvin. Thank you guys again, and until next time, don't forget. What the fuck does this decision even do? And the military occupation. Oh shit. I, I just get all the decisions all over again. Do I still get penalty? Yeah, of course. Thank you, Kaiser Reich.